At the helm for the Cardinals, Neil Lomax having an absolutely grand year, a Pro Bowl type of year indeed. And the defense of the Tampa Bay Bucks that he'll be facing, Cannon, Mike Stensrud, and John, make that Ron Holmes. The linebacking core, Jackie Walker out of Jackson State, second year, he's getting the start at the left outside linebacker spot. And the secondary, Bobby Futrell replacing Rod Jones, who's out with an injured ankle. First and ten for the Cardinals. Ball at the 32 of St. Louis. Lomax back to pass, but flags stopping the play. St. Louis offense, Neil Lomax. Lomax has got a running game intact as of the last two weeks. Sutton Mitchell, specifically the offensive line, they're playing the best ball of the year. First and 15, ball on the 27, Lomax. Screen pass to Stump Mitchell. And Mitchell gets it up near the 35-yard line before being stopped by Jeff Davis out of the season. Pick up of about eight yards on the play for Stump Mitchell in St. Louis. Brings up a second down situation, second and seven. Ball mark on the 35. The handoff goes to Wolfley. And Wolfley, a pickup maybe of a couple, Danny. Third and three for St. Louis. Lomax back to pass. Under pressure. He's down. For Tampa Bay, number 36, Bobby Futrell. And Horn gets away a good one. Futrell takes it on the 18. He's across the 30. Well, up near the 39-yard line start in his first year at the helm. Coach Ray Perkins said that he's had a very decent start so far. As you take a look at the defensive line of St. Louis and the linebacking core and the defensive backs. First and 10 for Tampa Bay, ball on their own 40. And the handoff goes to Jeff Smith. This year for Denver was available for the Buccaneers, and they're going to use him at left tackle. Second and six. Pick up a four. Left the Play action. Rolling left. Decides to keep it. He's got the first down and runs out of bounds. So Benny Testaverde takes it across midfield to the 49-yard line of St. Louis. Run out of bounds by Cedric and Lewis. Testaverde back to pass. Pump face. Looking for Carter. He's got him. On the receiving end of a perfectly placed pass by Vinny Testaverde. Gets the ball down to the 10-yard line of St. Louis. From the end zone, watch number one up on the line. Stunts by the defensive lineman, takes him out of position. Now Vinny's able to go out to the side, throw, and there he finds Gerald Carter, who's wide open. St. Louis has had some problems with their cornerbacks. And there you see Carl Carter getting beat deep by Gerald Carter. Now Gerald does a smart thing. Try to get as much yardage as you can and try to hit for that sideline. Don't get hit too hard, Gerald. A 39-yard pass play. Ball at the 10. First and 10. Tester Verde back to pass. Across the middle. Complete to the tight end, Ron Hall. Just shy of the goal line. Okay, so Tampa Bay looking impressive on their opening drive. Far, far side of the line of scrimmage, Ron Hall, number 82, comes right up the middle here. Now, Benny Testaverde, key thing, very comfortable in the pocket. A little bit of pressure, dumps it off to the tight end, and watch this kid from Hawaii. He's big, he's strong, and he's going to take more than one guy to bring him to the ground. And Testaverde looking very poised. Second and goal, ball at the one-yard line. over the top the attempt that time by Jeff Smith and he did not make it. That will bring up a third and goal. All on, that, one. on that attempt, excuse me James, on that attempt I think that uh, Jeff needs the turbines going. He's got to get up in the air, get a little lift. <laughs> needs to do a few toe raises so he can spring a little better. <laughs> so Tampa Bay on their opening drive as Coach Ray Perkins takes a look on. You see the numbers inside the 20. Third and goal, ball on the one. Tucker Verde, rolling right. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. The, the officials have ruled, James, that he was out of the end zone. He was out of the back of the end zone. And as a result, they've taken the play away from Tampa Bay. They said that Ron Hall went down. 
So Ron Hall will be credited with the touchdown reception, the pass from Vinny Testaverde. And more importantly, I know Hugh Coverhouse will vote in, in, in favor of the instant replay when the uh, owners meet. So delayed gratification for Tampa Bay, but nonetheless, they come away with the touchdown score. Their opening drive, Vinny Testaverde, moves them nicely down the field and connects with the pass to Ron Hall. Igwe Buike with the point after. It's up, and it's good. So Tampa Bay gets on the scoreboard first. They lead it by the score of 7 to nothing. And Danny, what possibly could the replay official have seen that he overruled? The key here is Ron Hall's knee hits the ground before his elbow hits the out of bounds. Now watch here very carefully. Watch his left knee hit the ground. And now watch the left elbow go out of bounds right there. Knee down, elbow down, out of bounds. on the return for St. Louis. And McAdoo slammed to the ground around the 24 yard pass, complete to Robert Awalt. And Awalt dropped at the 30 yard line, a pickup of five. Robert Awalt, a favorite target of Neil Lomax. Lomax said that Awalt reminds him a lot of Clint Didier, former teammate of his at Portland State. And there you see Robert Awalt's numbers, 39 receptions for a rookie tight end. And he's kept Jay Novacek on the bench, and Jay's a heck of a tight end himself. Both of them very young tight ends, by the way. He walked the hottest tight end in the league since he started seven weeks ago. Second and four, ball mark on the 31. And the pitchback goes to Scott Mitchell, and stop, stop in the backfield. Shotgun, Neil Lomax. They're in their yellow package with three wide receivers. Lomax looking downfield. And it's incomplete. The intended receiver was Jay Novacek. And that brings up a punting situation for St. Louis. So Tampa Bay looking impressive. We talked about Ray Perkins getting these guys inspired because they're playing for their jobs. They're looking good early on, Danny. And that comes as no surprise to anyone, I'm sure. You know, you think about this area of the season when you've lost six straight games, you play desperate. Back deep for Tampa Bay, Bobby Futrell. And to keep for the Cardinals, Greg Horn. Horn with a 44-yard punt on the first one. High. Futrell takes it at the 31. And Futrell dropped at the 37-yard line. About a six-yard return. Anthony Bell on the stop game today for the Cardinals because Minnesota defeated Detroit 17 to 14. Minnesota still in the playoff picture, and of course they can wrap it up with a victory next week. Seattle leading in that game there. Pittsburgh down by one to Houston. That game in the fourth quarter. First and ten, ball on the 39 for the Bucks. James Wilder in motion. Pitch goes to Smith. Second and nine for the Bucks. Smith, the ball carrier, across the 40, still on his feet. And good second effort displayed that time by Jeff Smith. Six for the Bucks. Ball on their own 43. Out of the pro set. Testa Verde, back to pass. It's complete across the middle. And a good second effort should have given Calvin McGee enough for the first down. There is a flag on the Charge base pass foul. And force from the end of the run, first down. And the penalty against the Cardinals, that'll tack on an additional five yards. That means he really didn't mean it, though. <laughs> watch Calvin McGee come back to the football and grab it. Now watch the second effort to get the first down. That's the key. Big, strong tight end, and he just bulls his way upfield and reaches for that first down yard as he gets it. McGee at 240 thinks he still weighs 280. Pitch back to Jeff Smith, and Smith running hard. Smith near the 40 yard and in seven for the Bucks. Ball on St. Louis' 41. And the handoff to Wilder, and Wilder with the good gainer at time up near the first thing. His best years are ahead of him. Third and one. Ball on the 35 to St. Louis. And the pitch goes to Wilder. And Wilder grabbed from behind a late flag. As James Wilder was brought down by Nico Noga. Another face mask penalty against St. Louis. They didn't mean it again. 45 defense. 
what happens many times is when you're going to wrap up the tackle, you got a big back like a James Wilder. You just got to grab a hold of anything you can find to try to bring him down. A little guy like Leonard Smith, he's got to hold him down, and therefore he grabbed the face mask, but just grabbed it just a slight moment. Well, watch here, in the middle of your screen, you see number 45, Leonard Smith. He's coming around to make the stop on James Wilder. Now, just watch and see if you can you can find that hand reaching into the face mask. There's Nico Nogi. He gets a hold of him, and there's the grab on the face mask. Just a slight one. Like I said, he really didn't mean it. All on the 32 of St. Louis. First and 10 for the Bucks. 5-19 remaining in the first quarter. Bucks on top by a touchdown. Testaverde looking deep, going deep. complete but out of bounds. A great effort on the part of Gerald Carter and with that pass, Vinny Testaverde again showing a good touch that he has on the long ball, Danny. Yeah. Well, there, his receivers told us that even downfield 40, 50 yards, he still throws the lasers. And here you see Gerald Carter all the way in the corner of the end zone almost makes a great play. There you see him going up for the pass and just barely missed it. Now he's out of bounds. He catches it, but that doesn't mean anything. It just Carter, looks good. Carter looking to continue his streak. He's caught one pass, at least one pass, in 21 straight games. And then he tested very impressive numbers in his first incompletion of the day. Second and 10. A handoff to Wilder, and Wilder across the 30. Wilder still on his feet. And James Wilder down near the 10-yard line, and there are flags everywhere. But James Wilder with a second and third effort. And, a, and the third face mask penalty on the Cardinals. If they put any more flags in the field, they won't need a tart for it. Anthony Bell was a Cardinal who brought Wilder down. 45 defense, and force from the end of the play, first down. James Wilder will come right through the middle of your screen, just a little bit to the top, gets that handoff. Now, watch at the end of this run. Number one, James Wilder is something you haven't seen from him all season. That bull-type runner, just running over defenders. There you see the face mask. Leonard, Leonard Smith, again, is the, makes the infraction. And there goes James Wilder down for a great game. And, of course, that yard is tacked on at the end of the play. Ball marked on the six-yard line of St. Louis. Tempe Verde back to pass with time. And the intended receiver was Gerald Carter again, but the ball threw his hands. <laughs> Benny Testaverde has to take a little bit off of those passes. Crossing pattern down in the end zone, you've got to take a little bit of smoke off of it and give your receiver a chance to, to get the ball in his vision and then catch it. That'll bring up a second and goal situation. Ball on the six, and you talked about Benny taking just a little zip off. His favorite targets, all rookies. Hey, <laughs> keep it that way. You get comfortable with him in training camp. Second and goal. Ball on the six. 4.35 remaining. Smith still on his feet, and Smith gets down inside the five to about the four-yard line, and Danny, yet another flag thrown on the play. But James, did you see the block number 32, James Wilder threw? Incredible block at the point of attack. When we get a chance, we're going to run a replay on that, hopefully, and you'll get a chance to see what else James Wilder is doing in that backfield. Holding, 86, offense, still second down. And the guilty party that time, Calvin McGee, the